In this tutorial, we see how to create dynamic content in web applications using JSP. We, I have a JSP demo program which contains a JSP file. And let me first copy this demo application in the web apps folder of the Apache Tomcat server. Now let's go to this application JSP demo where I have a student JSP file. Now what we are going to do is this file or uh, just this JSP code is going to retrieve the content from the database and display it dynamically to the user. Now the content we are trying to retrieve is we have already created a student's database and which is uh, I suppose I have placed it in the C folder or uh, not folder C drive itself directly students DB and this students DB contains roll number name and marks now this JSP application we will try to retrieve the roll number of the student and then display them inside a select box or drop down box using select tag dynamically now let's see the example this JSP page, very first thing, contains the JSP directive, that is a page directive, start starting with angle bracket, percentage sign, or symbol, add the rate page. Actually, add the rate page will define the page directive, whereas angle bracket and percentage defines the JSP code. Now this we need to say that this JSP we have a language as Java obviously and then there are certain import statements which we need to include. Now this import statement is using SQL package because we are trying to access JD, we are trying to access the database using JDBC from the JSP program. Now if you see Normally, we have uh, several statements import written uh, in any Java file. The same way, for every import state, uh, statement, we need to define it here as a import attribute equal to assigning the value of the package that is java.sql.star. The second import we have having is java.util.star. Now, you can define as many imports as you want in the program then we have a content type which is a text HTML as well as the page encoding scheme then we finally close the JSP tag now from this point till here the code which you're seeing is a pure HTML code apart from that what we have is this part which starts with the angle bracket and percentage an angle bracket and percentage uh, the closing angle bracket and percentage defines the JSP code so therefore we are having this part as a JSP code earlier we had the first statement as the JSP code and please remember that page directive needs to be the very first statement in the JSP program we have this as the JSP code followed by the HTML then we have this part as the JSP code then we have this part as the JSP code though we are also having some part of the JSP code written between the HTML tags let us try to go into detail now this page is trying to we are trying to create a form and then inside the form we have a table to format the uh, display of the content and then we have the select tag or select statement now this select statement obviously we have to give a name now what our purpose is to fill this select tag or select uh, drop down with the roll numbers of the students so therefore we need to write a JSP program this JSP program contains the very first statement as class for name which is uh, sun.jdbc.odbc.jdbc.odbc driver please try to make sure that this is written exactly as it is and it's case sensitive <coughs> if you see this entire content is the J 
actually JDBC code which we are trying to import or integrate inside the JSP page. Next we are trying to create a connection using connection uh, class and then driver manager get connection and this part specifies your DSN data source name. Now if you don't know how to create a DSN or if you are having a problem in trying to create a DSN please try to check the video related to creation of DSN. Then we obviously we don't have any username and password for the access database then this is followed by the statement class where we try to create a statement on the particular connection and then we, we are creating a query saying that select star from student now this query is executed and stored in the result set once uh, we store or get the entire content in the result set uh, from the database we are trying to use the result set dot next to, pro, uh, to parse through the entire content and then we try to retrieve through the result set get int one one specifies the first column of the database that is our roll number we are trying to retrieve the roll number and store it as a string now this uh, system dot or dot println has got nothing to do with uh, JSP program this is only part we have written or only statement we have written to uh, debug our program then as you can see the selects uh, HTML tag will be followed by an optional option tag where we are trying to define here the option tag has a value this value is retrieved as a JSP variable that is str stores the value of the roll number and then we are trying to use angle bracket percentage and equal to which will directly display the or which will directly retrieve the value stored inside the str variable we try to close this tag and then again we have an HTML part then we try to open the angle bracket percentage or the JSP tag and then after opening the JSP tag we try to close the options tag once we try to close the options tag tag we again open open the JSP tag and then we try to close the try statement using catch followed by the HTML tag of closing the select statement and then trying to close the tables and other HTML tags so this is the J JSP program which we are having now let us try to execute this program and see how it works I'll open my server or start my server and execute in a browser and this application name is the JSP demo and then the JSP file name we have stored with student dot JSP so I need to type student dot JSP. Now once we type the student.jsp you can see that uh, this is the HTML part which is getting displayed this is the select statement or uh, drop down list and we have two buttons re uh, defining the input submit and reset. Now you can see these values are coming from the database it's been filled through the database dynamically from this part of the code. Now let me try to open the database which is uh, I have created in uh, C drive and this database contains 102 oh, sorry 101 and 103 as two rows therefore we are getting the two rows displayed in the drop down box. Now let me try to manipulate the database here let me try to add 102 with some value as uh, a dd and some marks as 56 then let me try to have one more value or, or the row 104 some GFD and then let's try to have 
Now, if you see, we are going to have four statement. Let me try to four rows in the database. Let me try to save this database, and then let's uh, go to the JSP. And if you see, this is the previous value it's trying to show. Let me refresh this JSP page, and once we refresh it, you can see that dynamically the drop-down box or the uh, control created by the select tag as dynamically updated this is how we try to demonstrate how to create a dynamic content in web application using JSP